we can add kitchen cabinets, appliances, shelving, furniture, and all kinds of other components through the component browser. We can open the component browser by selecting the component button up in the modeling tab, or you can right click and select add furniture symbol building group. In the component browser, you can see all kinds of different folders of different types of components from towel bars, toilets, showers, tubs, sinks, etc. We'll start with something simple. Let's go to the laundry appliance and we'll just add the standard washer and dryer. So I'm going to double click on the standard washer. Notice the macro is now attached to my cursor and I have a secondary toolbar available where we can do things like rotate, change the reference point, mirror, and change the height. I'll start by zooming in to where I want to place my washer and I notice I want to rotate this thing 90 degrees clockwise. So I'm going to look for the 90 degree clockwise button and then I can place that in my laundry area. Now I'm going to hit confirm to go back to the browser. Select the standard dryer. The rotation is remembered from the previous macro and then I can left click to locate that dryer. Now I'll hit confirm again and let's go to the bathroom sink. I'm going to add a pedal still sink. Now I need to rotate this 180 degrees and I'm going to place this right around here. Confirm. We can add the toilet. And confirm. Let's add a toilet paper holder. This I need to rotate 90 degrees. And I'm going to put this right under the window here. So what I'm going to do is hit Q on my drywall line. Then I can constrain in the horizontal direction, slide it over, and then place it right in this area here. Confirm. And then I want to throw in a towel bar. Just grab the 24 inch. I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees clockwise. And we'll plop it right on the drywall line. And now I'm just going to hit escape. Let's see what that looks like in the 3D model. So I'll hit F2. Rotate the model around so we can see what it looks like. All right, and then we're going to continue back in the 2D. I'm going to add some shelving into these closets. So I'll go back to the component browser and we'll select shelf and I'm going to choose for the small closet we'll do the four 12 inch wider shelves I'm going to double click on that and the shelves ask you to select two points just to determine the length of the shelves so I'm going to click those two points it builds the macro now I need to rotate that this time it'll be 90 degrees counterclockwise and then I'm going to place that right inside that closet there. Hit confirm. And for the coat closet, we just need a single shelf with a hanging rod. And again, two points for the length. I have the right orientation, so we don't need to rotate it. And then I'll place it right there by left clicking on that drywall corner. I'll hit escape and see what that looks like in the 3D. Now it's a little hard to look inside here, but what we can do is kind of hide some of this model. We have a lot of tools for hiding objects. If I want to hide a single wall, I can just select it, right click, and select hide. 
So now I can see what it looks like inside that closet. To get the wall back, I'm going to right click and hit Restore Hidden. Another feature we have available is the building group. You can define a building group by putting multiple components together and saving them into the browser so that you can add multiple components in one click. I'll go back to the component browser and show you where we have some example kitchen layouts. Here we have a couple of kitchen layout building groups that contain cabinets, appliances, the sink, and the countertop. So we can just select one of these layouts and then place all those components at once. I'll hit Escape, hit F2 to take a look at it in 3D. After placing the building group, all the components are now individual components so that you can move them around and edit them as needed.